Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enter ADP checks in QuickBooks. And this can be in QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. So let's get started. Now, first of all, you want to make sure that you have entered the correct account to record your paychecks. Um, and you only really need three. That's right. You only need three accounts to enter your paychecks from ADP. And you, it could be ADP, it could be paychecks, it could be anywhere that you do your payroll, uh, Wells Fargo, uh, anywhere. All you need is three accounts. The first one is an expense account called payroll expense salaries and wages. And you can create a template for all this so you don't have to keep entering all the time. And I call it wages. The second account is payroll tax liabilities. This is where all the liabilities are going to go. And your third one is payroll expense for the employer portion of the payroll taxes. Now, if you have direct deposit, you will need to create a liability account called direct deposit payable. And I'm going to show you how that works. So in this one, I have an ADP, an ADP register from a client and they use direct deposit. So I'm going to record this first check. As you can see, the total pay is 2405 and we have some tax liabilities. The tax liabilities are 448737, which is the tax withheld, and the employer portion. So let's do the wages first. So it's 2405. So 2405. Okay. And now we said that the payroll liabilities on the payroll summary is tax withheld. This is the employee portion. The employer portion of the taxes is this one. So let's go back and record that, and the total is 671.35. Now it's going to be a negative, 671.35. Why is it a negative? Because as you can see, taxes are deductions of the gross amount. Now, why did I include the employer portion? Because on the next one, which is the expense, I'm going to put the positive amount of the employer portion. And essentially that zeroes out that check. So we'll see the check amount increase. So let's go back and see what the employer portion is. It's 183.98. 183.98, okay. So, says here the net, the total amount is 1,917.63. Let's see if that is correct. And it is 1,917.63. So here are your three accounts. Your gross, your wages, which is an expense. Your liability for taxes, which will include the taxes from the employee and the employer taxes added together and that will be a negative. And your third account is the employer liability, which is also an expense to the business. That will be a positive. So let's go back and it's 1917.63. Now, because this customer has, uh, this client has direct deposit, I'm going to do a negative 1917.63. The reason is because it's going to take it out of that check. So once ADP, how they pay is they don't pay by each individual. They don't take out the money each individual um, employee. They do it in bulk. So if you have 10, it'll be all 10. So what this does is this um, negative 1917 puts it in the liability as an amount owed. So when ADP takes the money out of your checking account, that bulk amount, 
you will just put it in the direct deposit. And I'm going to show you how this looks. You see here, ADP has taken out the money in bulk for the payroll. So we have here each individual amount, and this is the same, same checks, and here are the amount. So this amount plus this amount for these two employees will equal the total of this. And I do have my calculator. See, this amount and this amount will equal this. So you're zeroing out your direct deposit. So this is how you would do if you had a direct deposit. You would just put that extra, um, that extra account there. If you don't have direct deposit and you write checks um, to the employees, all you have to do is just not put the direct deposit and then this amount will equal the amount of the check, which would be this, and you can reconcile your, um, your banking according to the check. I do not, years ago, I used to do journal entries. I did not like that. I did not like it because I didn't know who the check was for, what period it was for, what pay date it was for. So with this, I could put the pay date, the check number. I can even make more notes here for pay periods, um, and then who it's for. And I can bring reports out of how much I pay that, um, that employee because it's the check belongs to that, that individual. With a journal entry, it's so hard to pull those kinds of reports. So I just decided to do it as a check. And all you really need is three accounts. Once again, you just need the wages, the payroll liabilities, and the payroll tax expense. That's all you need to be able to record ADP checks. Now you can also do this, like I said, with anyone, with anyone doing your payroll. And this one is Wells Fargo. Uh, this is a client that I'm reconciling 2017. So what they did is just grabbed, you know, did a summary, a payroll register for the whole year. It's fine, it's perfectly fine. They did checks, all you have to do and this is the desktop, I'm doing it in the desktop. All you have to do is enter the checks as a bulk amount, three accounts, salary, wages, payroll tax expense, payroll liabilities. And then once the checks comes in, I can put them in this account that I created and essentially they will zero out. So that, that's pretty much how you can record it. I hope that you find this video very helpful. Um, if you do, please leave, say yes in the comments below. And if you have any questions about this video, please put them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.